what's up guys in today's video i'm using the homemade carpet extractor on a dirty f-150 enjoy Hey, what's up guys? Um, in this video, I'm using, you're going to see me using a, a small bristle brush at first because these seats had a kind of an odd fiber to it. This is a Ford F-150 and before I went full, full on with the drill brush, I wanted to uh, agitate it by hand and just pay attention to the fibers to see that I wasn't fraying anything or doing any damage. This is a, a pickup truck from work. Uh, the foremen drive around these pickup trucks and this one had, in the beginning of the video you saw, some sort of stain it looked like coffee stain uh this my friend milton drives his truck and he couldn't get it out he bought a spot pro i told him to get a bissell spot pro and try it himself he didn't have any luck he used the uh, bissell solution that comes in the box so uh we had to step it up a little bit here with the all-purpose cleaner and i've been using these glip tone all-purpose cleaners personally for uh about five years the ultra cleaner you can use it on metal paint uh, interiors is just a good all-around all-purpose cleaner. Uh, it's, that's, this is my go-to all-purpose cleaner. I love it. So right now I'm using a uh, 40 degree nozzle I put it in the bottom left corner of the screen. It's the, the white ones is 40 degrees. Green is going to be 25, yellow 15, red is zero. And then every pressure washer nozzle has an orifice. It's the size of the opening that the water is going to come out. This is a 4.0 orifice. In the original video I was using a 2.0 orifice. So 4.0 so be 4 gallons a minute on a pressure washer, that's the one that you want. But uh, it put out a nice amount of water and it covered the entire width of the clear carpet nozzle. Alright, so in this picture in picture I put the exact vacuum kit that I got from HomeDepot.com. Um, I actually think I spent $99 on it, I definitely did. It went up $10, $10 already in the, uh, the few weeks that I had it. It's an animal. The NXT version of the Rigid Shop Vax is way stronger than its predecessor. It is like night and day comparison.
So in this, in this clip you could see as I'm doing the backrest, you could see the water drips down onto the seat cushion that you sit on. Uh, I would highly advise that you do this in order and you do the backrest first because if you clean the, the cushion that you sit on first, you're going to get the residual water dripping down off the backrest onto the, the cleaned cushion and you're going to have to extract it out again, just like I'm doing right here. Uh, you're just making more work for yourself. Just try to do it in order and you can get seats done pretty fast, probably about 15 to 20 minutes a seat, I would say, on the, on the longer end of it. But I do have a lot of water coming out right now, and this vacuum is very strong. Definitely working good. Something happens to the water.
the next 40 seconds I just put it in fast forward and all I'm doing here is strictly trying to vacuum out any remaining water that's in the cushion or as much as I could uh, when I was done with this entire process I had Milton keep the windows rolled down about an inch and he was going to leave the uh, heat on in his car for a couple hours just to dry it out it was just very cold this day it was, it was a freak day it was like 35 degrees out we were in the 60s before this during the week all right guys now we're jumping over to the driver's side i have this fast forwarded uh, 4x speed just to save you guys you don't need to see this in regular time just spraying the uh, ultra cleaner first then the emerald green i have emerald clean and uh gonna agitate it with the drill brush driver's seat wasn't as bad as the passenger seat the passenger seat's the one that had the big i, I want to say it was a coffee stain or iced tea on the seat cushion but this still had a decent amount of dirt so you could see working it working it you don't need to go too crazy the cleaner will do a majority uh i cut out the center section because i couldn't get the camera in a wide enough view so i apologize for that but uh you'll see it's just working this just like the rest of the car pickup truck I'm very happy with this extractor. I, I don't think I could beat this. I, I don't think I could buy anything that would work as well as this um, for this price. I think I got maybe $300 tops invested in this. That's for buying the vacuum cleaner and all the parts. And I bought like doubles and triples. So if I if I knocked it down, you could probably get everything for $200. All right, so now we're moving on to the back section of the driver's seat. And you can see why you want to work from the top down in this uh, situation look at the water dripping um, I still got to play around I ordered 65 degree pressure washer nozzles they're actually plastic they're not really for a pressure washer at all 65 degree spray nozzle which I think is going to be perfect it's a 1.8 millimeter orifice so it's a little bit less than two I think that's really like the ideal range this was putting a little bit too much water out but um, I mean it was still worked amazing but it's just a little bit too much water yeah, I'm making a little bit too much of a mess here but you can see it dripping down on the bottom cushion. That's why you don't want to do the bottom cushion first. You want to leave that for the end. You're going to have a lot of stuff caught right in the seam where the bottom and the, and the top meet. Just working it, working it. And you know, it, when I was building this, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to attach the blue hose to the orange. Or even get the... I, I bought Velcro loops basically for like uh, cables and electrical cords and I have no issue with it like this and I had a whole coil on the ground if you could just peek out of the bottom section you could see it I didn't even have these wrapped up nice or stretch it out the right way I got two vacuum hoses attached so I got about 15 feet of vacuum hose here and uh, that's all included in that rigid kit that I that I put up in the picture in picture before all right in this little section right here I was just taking the band clamp off the spray nozzle it, it wasn't needed on there, and I kept feeling it grab the carpet, so I just took it off before I did any damage. So well, he's got a little uh, thing on here. Yeah, that's fine. Cleaner, bro, right? Thought it looks brand new. In this short clip where it's fast forwarded, this is just me extracting as much remaining water out of the backrest again as possible. And then I uh, position the seat, getting ready to extract the bottom cushion.
Phil, you got any paper towels? Not again. Tissues? Nope, that's it. Baby wipes? than what I would do when you go home. Yeah. Just leave the car on in the driveway with the heat on and the windows open like an inch on each side for like a couple hours. But it's so cold out right now. <laughs> you can leave it with the window uh, closed. <laughs> have a look. Very good now. Got this one too? Yeah. That's it, that's good. That's it, bro. That wasn't that bad. Get that get the stop on there. The work truck, just the seats.